Hi, in this one I'm going to cover one of Excel's interesting functions. Actually, there's two functions, and they are these one character functions. The T function, and then later on the N function. So what the T function does is it brings back the value of a cell if it's text. If there's no text in that cell, it just brings back a blank. So let's see what it looks like. You type equal, and then the letter T. And you can see there's only one T there. I'll double click that. It gives me the open parentheses. I'll select that value, close parentheses, press enter, and it's a blank. I'm going to use formula text so you can see what it looks like. It's all going to look the same, right? We're going to do cell C2. All right, you can see it's just cell, it's just T, A2. Let's bring all these formulas down. Drag the fill handle, the little blue box there, the little uh, dark square there down here and you can see we have text here and that cell value brings back text from the formula. Incidentally with true and false it doesn't bring back the text it, because in true and false Excel will equate it with either 0 or 1 and you won't have any values. You can see here a 0 brings back nothing, a blank cell brings back nothing this looks like a number, but it's not. You can see there's an apostrophe there. And that's a trick that we can use to turn a number into text, into a string. And the T sees that as text and brings that back. Dates are in serial number format. You can see this is 1-1-2000, but the way that Excel sees dates, if I right click and go under Format Cells, the way Excel sees a cell that particular value of 1, 1, 2000, it's 3, 6, 5, 2, 6. That's the way Excel sees dates as a number. And so, of course, it's not going to bring back anything. So what, and false, of course, I mentioned before, brings back nothing. So what are some of the things that we can use for this particular one character function? Well, let's say that you get back a database and it gives you something like this. You have first name, last name, and sometimes it gives you strange things where instead of a last name, maybe there's no last name there, it gives you, if it's a blank, it substitutes a zero in there, right? So what you can do is you can use the T function to kind of fix that. And if we tried to do a regular concatenation, we'll do like Joe equals A2 and then ampersand and then space double quotes and close that in double quotes and then Lee, you have Joe Smith here, right? But if I drag it down, you notice that it's going to include Jane zero and zero Lee. With the T function, what that can do is it gives you a little bit more discretion and if it sees any numbers, it doesn't give anything. So I can do T that and then with the space there and T tab that value and that goes correctly but when I drag this down you can see the zeros have disappeared there so that's one way that we can use a T function if we wanted to do that well that's the T function what about the N function well the N function is kinda of similar but it's, think of it as kinda of the corollary to the T function instead of text it brings you back the number so if I do equal N open parentheses and that value press enter it gives me back 25 let's just do the formula text here so you can see it it's very simple right so C2 close parentheses press enter if I drag this down you'll see that text will output a zero so that's one of the differences it's not a blank if it sees text any kind of string it will output zero now a trues and false Excel does see that a little bit differently. Trues and falses are ones and zeros, and Excel will bring those back. Now, this zero, of course, is going to bring back zero. Blank does bring back a value of zero. This string will bring back zero because it doesn't see it as a number. And of course, as I mentioned before, dates are seen as serial numbers, and it brings back that serial number that I showed earlier. So, not, what's another way of using the n function? Well, just think of the end function, let's put the number 12 here. And we can think of the end function as another way to put a comment into the cell without using the comment function. 
If I right click and go to insert comment, I can say this is a number, right? Now that, when we hover over it, can show us that it's a number. And you have got that little red half, tri that little triangle to indicate there's a comment here. Another way to do that is I can say equals that and n this this is a number actually I don't can't use n I have to add it because this is going to be a function where it's going to look at b3 b13 which is 12 and it's going to try to add n plus this text and the text is going to bring back zero so it's going to add basically 3, 12 and zero but you have 12 there but you have this particular comment within the cell you don't have oops press escape you don't have this marker to indicate it's a comment so if you like to have it kind of clean if you like it where your cells are clean and you have comments in there this is another way to do it instead of right so you can do that instead of uh, right click and go to insert comment. So let's just think of it another way of adding comments. So if you had kind of like a long calculation somewhere and you wanted to kind of describe it and didn't want to use the comment function, you can use plus n and then enter some kind of text in there and that'll be a comment. So there you go. These two very obscure but interesting functions, the one character functions, only two of them are in Excel so far, the t and the n function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.